New 107, and that was Filter and the Crystal Method with Can't You Trip Like I Do. You guys are locked on to The Real Score featuring Spawn. My name is Roanna, your host for today's show featuring a movie soundtrack that could have also spawned the wider acceptance of the experimental age of music. Um, if you recall, when this movie came out in 1997, genres of music back then were very separate from each other. There was rock, classic rock, alternative, grunge, heavy metal, punk, and then there was techno, house, R&B, and hip-hop. And it wasn't accepted mainstream to mix all these together until this album came out for the soundtrack of Spawn, where every single track is actually a collaboration of two different genres combining their music together. For example, a techno-electronic band, Prodigy, collaborating with another band from, of course, Rage Against the Machine, Tom Morello. Metallica and Incubus, which are rock and heavy metal, collaborating with DJs to create something interesting and unique. And last week, if you guys tuned in, we featured The Crow, and that was also a comic-to-film uh, movie, which is also the same thing with today's show, which is Spawn, came from comic and transferred to film and both of them tackle revenge. Well up next is a track included in the scene where Spawn is talking to the angel Coliostra outside of a bar right before he takes off with someone's bike and this track that was actually playing in that club is what you'll hear in a bit. But first, if you guys have any comments or suggestions or you'd like to share some trivia that you know about the Spawn movie or the soundtrack, make sure you just send me a message at NU MSG space your message and send it over to 29107 or give me a call at 636-0099. Well, here it is, a heavy metal band collaborating with a trip-hop DJ. Here is Metallica and DJ Spooky with a song called For Whom the Bell Tolls, The Irony of It All. You're locked on to The Real Score featuring Spawn on New 107. New 07, and that is Metallica right there with DJ Spooky collaborating for a song called For Whom the Bell Tolls, The Irony of It All. And you know what, guys? Even Metallica is a heavy metal band. You have to admit that they have a pretty open mind for back then in 1997 to have collaborated with, you know, a hip-hop artist, DJ Spooky. Now, uh, one more trivia. If you guys are familiar with another heavy metal band, Iced Earth, they actually made an album based on the Spawn comics, and they were originally offered to be included in the Spawn soundtrack album, but unfortunately they declined because they said that the album had too much techno music in it. All right, well, before we proceed to our third track for today's show, let's first take a quick break, so make sure you keep it locked in. Red Hot Summer this July, with the sexy schoolgirl, Shauna, sizzling on Animax. And wait till you see the hot FHM models, as they host a new episode of Shackle Gun no Shauna 2, weekday, 7.30 p.m. Feel a special code during the commercial breaks. Move the code to win attractive prizes. It's all Red Hot with Shauna, exclusively on Animax. Splutter.com proudly presents Nine Inch Nails, live in Manila. The Wave Goodbye World Tour. August 5 at Anetta Coliseum, with special guest, Pupil. Brought to you by Tribal Gear, MTV, the exclusive official music channel, New 107, the official radio station, Ed Sashanger La Manila, the official residence, together with FriendsterQuire.net, Jack TV, CS Origin, Second Avenue, and ETC. Tickets available at all SM Ticketnet outlets. Visit www.ticketnet.com.ph or call 911-5555. Nine Inch Nails live in Manila with Pupil. Don't miss the rock event of the year. Brought to you by Splitter.com and you and yourself. Hey, it's Trent Reznor from Nine Inch Nails here. We're looking forward to finally getting to the Philippines. Come out and see us on August 5th at the Aeronetta Coliseum. <laughs> You see them on TV. Now hear them on the radio. Hardcore Brothers Motorcycle Radio. The only radio show that talks about anything and everything related to motorcycles. 
Hosted by three hardcore bikers and motorcycle builders, Jimmy Barinaga, Butch Lihe, and Shadrach Barinaga. Hi, I'm Jimmy, and we're here to share with you... Hey, it's Bull Joe, and tonight we're talking to someone real... Hi, I'm Shadrach, and... Blah, blah. Hardcore Brothers Motorcycle Radio, riding the airwaves every Sunday, 8 to 9 p.m., only here on New 107. This July on Hard Rock Cafe, Trash every Monday, Area 1 every Tuesday, Version 4.0 every Wednesday, Mocha Girls every Thursday, Freestyle and Silk every Friday, Dem Power every Saturday, and Juan Pablo Dream every Sunday. All shows start at 9.30 p.m. And welcome back to The Real Score featuring Spawn. And up next, we've got a track that is actually a collaboration of a hip-hop artist and a rock band. And that is basically... Corn with somebody who also did uh, some, uh, you know, tracks for the Fight Club soundtrack. And the band I'm talking about is the Dust Brothers. Here it is, Corn and the Dust Brothers with a song called Kick the P.A. And you're locked on to The Real Score featuring Spawn on New 107. New and every seven, that was Corn and the Dust Brothers with Kick the PA. And for those of you guys who either haven't seen the movie in a while or perhaps you haven't seen it yet, here's just a little short glimpse into what the storyline is really all about. So basically, Spawn plays, uh, you know, Al Simmons is his real life character before he dies and becomes spawn now he's a government trained assassin in life and he becomes a vengeful hell spawn in death after he was murdered and he was brought back from the dead to join hell's army and release his carnage on anyone that may get his way so heaven and hell battle for his already torn soul while he wanders the alleys protecting the innocent and destroying the corrupt and disrupt lives of the innocent now in the meantime he faces the tragedy of his death and the fact that he has been sent to hell and he must also face the reality of losing his wife to an old friend because he was gone for a few years after coming back and up next we've got a band that i heard back in the the 90s thinking that they were at least 25 years old or so at least only to find that by the time they were on the radio they were just 17 years old here is a, a post grunge band collaborating with a heavy metal band and i'm talking about silver chair and vitro with a song called spawn you're locked on to the real score featuring spawn on new 107 New 107, Silver Chair, and Vitro with Spawn. Now, guys, the next track that you're about to hear was actually used in the film a few times. The last time you would hear it in the movie Spawn is during the closing credits, but it was first heard in the film in the scene where Spawn is sent back from hell and wakes up in the slums. And Todd McFarlane, who is the creator of the comic book series and also the executive producer of Spawn, movie actually did a cameo in the scene as one of the bums that spawn sees and passes by probably this is uh, the movie's theme song if you could call it that here is marilyn manson and sneaker pimps with long hot road out of hell you're locked on to the real score featuring spawn on new at 07. New 107, Marilyn Manson and Sneaker Pimps with Long Hard Road out of hell. And uh, there was a scene during the dinner party, if you guys noticed, that the camera actually focused on a red head that was walking towards, well, a group of people. She was wearing a green dress and wearing earrings. And if you look closely or pause the screen, she was actually wearing the spawn insignia. This is actually a reference to the angel hell spawn hunter angel in the comic series. Unfortunately, it didn't quite make it to the film. Perhaps it'll just be too complicated having two lead characters, you know, uh, fighting against each other. Well, up next is a track which uh, I consider to be uh, the most, you know, techno track in the album. And this one is actually called A Plain Scraped Its Belly on a Sooty Yellow Moon. And this one is from Soul Coughing, which is an alternative rock band collaborating with a drum and bass techno DJ called Ronnie Size. Once again, here is Soul Coughing and Ronnie Size with A Plain Scraped Its Belly on a Sooty Yellow Moon. You're still locked on to the real score featuring Spawn on New 107. 
New 7 and that soul coughing and Ronnie sighs with a plane scraped its belly on a sooty yellow moon. Now some of the stars in uh, the cast are John Leguizamo who plays Clown, Martin Sheen who plays Jason Wynn, and Michael J. or Jai White plays Al Simmons also known as Spawn. Now Edward Norton was supposed to play the original role of D.B. Sweeney's uh, character Terry Fitzgerald. But during the same time that Spawn was being filmed, he got an offer to do American History X, where he played the Nazi who turns a new belief after some jail time. And once again, guys, you are still on the Real Score featuring Spawn. So if you have any messages, comments, or suggestions, or trivia that you'd like to share with everyone, simply type in your message in this format, N-U-M-S-G, space your message, and send it over to 29107. And up next, we've got uh, something from an electronic band collaborating with one of the members of the Rage Against the Machine. And who I'm talking about is the guitarist, and that is Tom Morello. Here is Prodigy with Tom Morello with a song called One Man Army. You're locked on to The Real Score featuring Spawn on New 107. New 107, Prodigy and Tom Morello with One, An One Man Army. And you guys are still locked on to The Real Score featuring Spawn. Um, next is what I call Dark slash techno slash drum and bass slash rock and you know it's got lyrics like i can kill but i can't die here's a trippy song that gives off that eerie vibe which totally matches the concept of the comic series and film now this one is actually from henry rollins who we also featured last week but with his band as henry rollins band uh, where we played uh, one of their songs included in the crow soundtrack ghost rider but this time henry rollins as a solo artist who so happens to actually be uh, not just an american singer songwriter he also also is a publisher, an activist, a comedian, an actor, and a radio DJ. Here it is, here it is uh, Henry Rollins collaborating with Goldie, who is an English electronic music artist and DJ and actor as well. A song called T4 Strain. You're locked on to The Real Score featuring Spawn on New 107. Submit your demo to In The Raw and get to be on the radio and Francis Brew will tell you what he honestly thinks If you got what it takes Or if you stink But it's a great experience You will make a lot of friends And who knows for sure There just might be a future for your band in the Raw, Sundays 6 to 8 p.m., giving amateur bands their chance to shine. Brought to you by the pioneers of rock, Red Horse Beer Music Laban, and New 107. Inviting you guys to head on over to new107fm.com, check it out for gig schedules, and sign up for an account and get to share your music with the world if you do have a band. So make sure you go on ahead and head over to new107fm.com. And welcome back to The Real Score featuring Spawn. Now up next is a band that usually has very black humor, uh, unusual antics, uh, crazy antics when they perform live. And I'm talking about Butthole Surfers collaborating with Moby, who also so, also so happens to be, have a tea shop that he owns as a business, aside from music. Well, here it is, Butthole Surfers and Moby with Tiny Rubber Band. You're locked on to The Real Score featuring Spawn on New 107. New 107, Butthole Surfers and Moby with Tiny Rubber Band. And you guys are still locked on to The Real Score featuring Spawn. My name is Rowanna. And, you know, if you remember the scene where John Leguizamo is walking in the alley talking to Al Simmons or Spawn, and he opens up a box of pizza and it's got maggots in it, and he says, Ew! And you're thinking, probably referring to the maggots. And he says, I hate anchovies. And then continues to eat the pizza with all the maggots on it. He actually ate real maggots for that shot. So if you try to watch the movie again, it was all in one continuous shot, squiggling maggots on the pizza and onto John Leguizamo's mouth. Yep, that is true. And of course, we're down to our last two songs for today's show. Uh, up next is from Stabbing Westward and Wink. And just one more trivia for you guys. You know, Tim Burton was actually the original choice to direct the movie. Uh, but then uh, he turned it down and it was given to Mark A. DePay. Here is Stabbing Westward with Wink 
with a song called Torn Apart. You're locked on to The Real Score featuring Spawn on New 107. New 107 stabbing westward and wink right there with Torn Apart. Now, the Spawn soundtrack debuted at number seven on the Billboard Top 200 in the U.S. And the Spawn album, you know, combining groups of different genres actually helped in creating a unique soundtrack that stayed in the Top 200 for 25 weeks straight. It won several awards in 1999, two years after it came out, two Emmy Awards, Outstanding Animated Programming, and another Emmy for Outstanding Individual Achievement in Animation. And it also won Golden Reel Award for Best Sound Editing. And you have to admit, for 1997, when it came out, I mean, the, the cape, the humongous, you know, like, awesome red cape, uh, and all the other, you know, his armor forming from inside of Spawn during the time when he dug his grave to make sure that he really was dead. You know, it was pretty good graphics for that time. That was more than a decade ago. And uh, I've seen a lot of movies which still, which still can't compare to the graphics of Spawn when it came out. And we're down to the last song, the last track for the show to close it down. Just another trivia. This is a, a little bit humorous probably, but it is true. I researched on this guy, so I'm not making this up. Uh, the other choices for uh, the uh, Spawn character to be portrayed by was uh, Wesley Snipes, Danny Glover, and guess who? Snoop Dogg. Yes, he was actually part of the original considerations to play Spawn. Now imagine Snoop Dogg and Starsky and Hutch as the pimp and Spawn. Combine it, since it's all the collaboration of albums. What do you have? A pimp and demon. All right. Thanks, guys, for joining me for The Real Score featuring Spawn. Join me next week, same time, 11 a.m. till 12 noon, for another episode of The Real Score. This time, I think, you know, we featured pretty dark and heavy stuff for the last two weeks. So for next week, let's feature something light and a little bit funny. And this is going to be featuring the wedding singer for next week's show. And up next, to close down the show, here is Incubus and DJ Greyboy with a song called Familiar. This is Rowanna for The Real Score featuring Spawn, Curtains Down, and Fading Out on New 107. <laughs>